much rather like have the fupa in full effect than have my butt be flattened, you know? She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. We are currently in my car because we are at the parking lot of the mall because this video we are going to try on a size 12 pair of jeans at 12 different stores. Oh my god, I like already hate the fitting room at like before we even get in there just because the idea of putting on 12 different pairs of jeans minimum because like you know me I'm gonna go in there and like find other cute things that I want to try on too like I hate fitting rooms like I it's not even like the whole mental aspect of it like not being able to fit things I hate the process of taking off my clothes to put them back on to take them off to put them back like the whole thing is just annoying to me so that's why I mostly shop online but I thought that this video would be a good idea one I got the idea from Sierra Schultz here on YouTube her channel is amazing and I love it and you guys should also all go subscribe and I'm gonna leave like the video that gave me the inspiration for this down below but she basically went to a bunch of different stores and tried on a pair of jeans in the same size there too and I thought it was like a really great idea I am generally a size 12 currently for the most part like if, if somebody asks me what my jean size is I'm gonna say a size 12 you know even though some places I might be a 10 some places I might be a 14 some places I might like y you know what I mean like generally I'm around a size 12 so we're gonna go to 12 different stores in this mall I came to the big mall so that we had a lot of options I'm gonna try to go to like the most popular stores and like the most popular jeans that I think people like are buying like I'm not gonna go to some obscure like denim store that nobody's ever heard of like we're gonna hit like forever 21 one gap I, I I made a list and I left it at home so I kind of need to go in here and just like make a list again popular stores that people buy jeans at like American Eagle Zara H&M gap uh, I want to go to Nordstrom and try on the good American jeans because I like really want a pair but I can't get myself to like buy them actually because they're like $200 but I do want to try them on you can always try them on you know what I mean basically that's what today's video is gonna be I'm sorry if the lighting in here is tragic but we are in a dark parking lot and my car lights are the only thing lighting me but I figured this was the best place to open up the video because inside the mall might not be the best it'll probably be loud and copywritten Christmas music because it's after Halloween <laughs> I definitely listen to Christmas carols on the way here but that's besides the point but yeah you guys let's get into it I hope that you guys enjoy this video it's gonna take a lot out of me to try on all these jeans so give it a thumbs up preemptively for all of my hard work if you're new here make sure you hit the subscribe button for other videos of this sort and all of my amazing content that you guys seem to love well more of you need to seem to love it more because we're really trying to hit these subscriber milestones in the upcoming year but yeah other than that i guess let's just go try on some jeans let's do it hello friends so i know you probably expected this next clip to be in the mall but i realized that the mall this time of year plays a lot of copywritten holiday music. So I took clips in every fitting room, I took clips at every single store. Yes, we hit 12, well we hit 11 stores, but tried on 12 different brands because at Nordstrom I ended up trying on two brands. So now we're just gonna go through all of them and I'm gonna give you the rundown because it wasn't completely successful, but it was a lot more successful than I thought it was going to be. Stores have different sizing and stuff, so if they didn't have a size 12, then I either tried on a size 31, because that's like the equivalent of a size 12, or so I think so, um, or a size 13 in the pla in the few places that had like juniors kind of sizing. So it was either a size 12, 13, or size 31, and that's all I tried on. And then like Zara says size 44, but it's, it also says size 12. So yeah, anyway, so we will start. I took notes at every single store so that we can talk about all of them. Do you know that the first store I went to was Garage? And I know that because it's actually the only store that I ended up buying the jeans I tried on. And I ended up buying them because they were on clearance and they were only $26 and they fit me really, really well. So at Garage, I tried on a size 13 because they didn't have it, like it was junior sizing and size 13 was the biggest size they had available which was kind of disappointing there are people a lot bigger than me and they deserve good jeans too like i just 
there's, there were a, quite a few stores on here that didn't have very inclusive sizing, but there were a few that I was like surprised that they had inclusive sizing. So anyway, Garage only went up to a size 13, which is kind of disappointing, but they did fit me really, really nicely, which is why I bought them. So the ones I tried on and I bought are the Extreme High Rise in size 13. I also tried on their Ultra High Rise jeggings. I liked the Extreme High Rise better because they hit me like right at my waist. My waist is pretty high up and I like to hit it like right at the waist. If it's a little lower, it's really, really unflattering on me. Like the lower, the I just hate low rise. So basically all the jeans I tried on were the highest of rise I could find in the store and a pretty similar like dark blue wash because those tend to be the kind of wash I wear. And then they were all stretch basically because I, I only wear stretch jeans. So these were the extreme high rise. They were surprisingly a really nice fit and very, very flattering. They were very high waisted, which I love. And they had a good amount of stress. They weren't too, too stretchy, but they fit me really nicely. But I have to say, if this was like a few weeks ago when I was like five pounds heavier, they probably would be too tight. So yeah, I don't know. The sizing there, it only goes up to like literally my size right now and that's it so that kind of sucks but these fit me really nicely and they were only $26 so I bought them so that's garage so after garage we went to American Eagle and I've never bought American Eagle jeans I tried them on once last time me and Chelsea went to this mall but I didn't buy any and I didn't buy any this time but I've always been interested because I've heard really really great things about American Eagle jeans so I went in I tried on their curvy super high-rise jegging and in a size 12 regular I thought I would need a size 12 short but the regular hit me right in my ankle and they were really 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 nice i also tried on the super high rise jegging in not the curvy fit like the regular like the regular fit the curvy fit is a little bit looser and has more stretch but pretty similar to the not curvy fit um but i did prefer like it was a little more flattering for my body type with the curvy fit but they fit perfectly honestly give me like three more pounds and i could probably go down to a size 10 they were a little bit loose but like comfortable loose not like baggy loose but comfortable loose and they felt really great. I would honestly, like I'll probably wait until like Black Friday until they have like a super duper deal because I know American Eagle has sales all the time and I would absolutely buy those jeans because they looked amazing on me and these were one of my favorites. Okay, so after American Eagle, I went to Gap. I haven't worn Gap jeans in a very long time. Last time I wore Gap jeans, my mom probably bought them for me. So that says a lot, but I went in there and they had their super high or they had like their favorite super high rise jegging or something, basically every store that had a super high rise jegging that's what i tried on and i found them they weren't as dark of a wash as the other ones i tried on but they did have a button fly and i love a button fly so i tried them on in a 12 regular and they surprisingly were a lot stretchier and more flattering than i remember gap jeans being i actually really liked them a lot they reminded me a lot of the levi wedgies which are like one of my favorite pairs of jeans ever but more comfortable and softer so i really 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 liked those actually so if they ever have like them on sale because gap jeans can be a little bit pricier i can't remember the price of these i want to say like 40 or 50 bucks i would definitely get these if they had like a sale i don't think i would pay full price for them but they were actually really nice they had a good high waist like they actually hit me where i like my jeans to hit me and they were stretchier and softer than i imagined them to be just like just thinking of like what I know about Gap jeans. I actually really liked them. So I would recommend those too. Okay, so after Gap, I went to Aeropostale and I, <laughs> back in college for the holiday season for literally like, I guess two months, me and Chelsea worked at Aeropostale in the Manhattan mall. So I kind of dread ever going in there ever again. I just never want to be there the rest of my life. But it was literally right next to all these other stores and I was like, I should go try those on, especially because they also have like a curvy fit jean, similar to American Eagle. And I always like, those brands are like synonymous to me in my mind. Like Aeropostale is just like the less cool version of American Eagle in my brain. So I was like, let's go try them on. They were not as cool as the American Eagle jeans, I gotta say. So I got this, basically the same kind of jean as I did in American Eagle, the curvy fit, size 12, but they were kind of baggy in the legs. They fit me nicely everywhere else, but the, the legs were kind of baggy. So they weren't as like skinny tapered. Um, they weren't as high waisted as other stores either, which made me not like it. Like it was literally just like half an inch to an inch like lower than the other high waist, which like 
makes a big difference when you have such like my debate my waist is really really defined at a very specific point so I like to cinch it in right specifically at that point if it's any lower then it just throws off my whole look and I don't look as hourglass shaped and I don't like it so yeah these also felt like they were less quality they, they were just not my fave I thought I expected them to be more similar to the American Eagle and they just didn't cut it so I would probably never buy these jeans okay so after I went to Aeropostale I went to Madewell and Madewell I have heard really great things about their their jeans and they're pricier they're definitely pricier these jeans were $135 and I only I kind of only noted the prices of the things that were really cheap and really expensive so $135 jeans I went in there I tried on their 10 inch uh, high-waisted skinny jeans in their dark wash in a size 31 because that was their sizing was that kind of number range so I got a size 31 and I tried them on and they were beautiful like out of all of I tried on like three higher end jeans these were my favorite these were probably my favorite of the entire day these and the American Eagle were probably my fave of the whole day like these fit me these are probably the best fitting jeans I've ever tried on in my life and they were so soft and so comfortable and felt so like these are jeans that are gonna last you like you can give these jeans to like your daughter one day because they're just gonna last you that's how they felt and I just love them and I think I'm gonna put them on my Christmas list because I need them but I might wait till like lose another 10 pounds so I can get like a size down and be super snatched but they're nice dude they're freaking nice and they're like the perfect level of high waist they feel they're just like like I'm so impressed by the Madewell jeans and I know they're $135 but like if they ever have like a sale or have any of them on clearance I'm gonna scoop them up if I could get them like a little bit under $100 I feel like that would be a super duper value for like this good of a jean like and I'm cheap about jeans like I love good a good fitting pair of jeans but I'm usually cheap about it like I don't really want to spend over $50 for a pair of jeans but like this I would I totally would after Madewell I went to Hollister I didn't really want to go to Hollister just because like, I don't know, my inner like Ashley in junior high could never shop at Hollister because one, I was curvy always my whole life. Although maybe I could have back then. I was just nervous too. And two, it was always expensive. I was broke in junior high when it was cool. So I never shopped at Hollister. All the other cool girls in my school did. Me and my friends, we didn't. We were still cool. We dressed better than everybody. But like, you know, we just didn't hang out with the Hollister crew. So like, you know when you like, you just have like a brand identity in your brain, you like just never want to shop there. That's like Hollister for me and Abercrombie and Fitch, like that whole thing, not a fan of it. But it was right across from uh, Madewell and I saw that they had a new curvy line and I was like, okay, fine, I will, I will give you the benefit of the doubt. I'm like gonna praise you for making a curvy line. So I went in there, but number one, nobody, nobody in Hollister even helps you. Like I literally had to like ask people for help like I was looking for a pair of jeans and the girl was literally two inches away from me stacking the jeans, like putting jeans on the shelf. And she didn't even look at me to ask me if I needed help for a size. And I was literally standing there for like a good five whole minutes, like looking for my size that I ended up not finding. So Hollister, just like a bitchy attitude. I just don't like them there. <laughs> but I ended up finding a size 13 in one pair of the curvy fit jeans. And they were like the light wash with all the rips in them hate that look and like the ribs came all the way down to the ankle when I put both of my legs in the jeans my toes got caught in the fucking ribs by the ankle like they're, they're just like parts of the jeans you don't need rips in like all the way by the ankle is like not a smart place to put a just stupid anyway um they took a lot more effort to pull up than the other jeans um didn't really like them they were a little bit too low waisted for my high waisted needs um just didn't like them hated the ribs hated everything about it also the dressing room sweaty as fuck like I might have I might go back and try on the, the other because the darker wash I couldn't find my size in but the darker wash felt a lot softer like the material and it maybe would have been a pair of jeans I could fuck with but I will never go into that dressing room ever again because I was literally sweating bullets and I went into 12 different dressing rooms today and that was the only one I sweat that much in even forever 21 had a, a better ventilation system in their dressing room which isn't saying much at all. So Hollister, please get your shit together. Oh my God. But they do have a curvy line. I saw all the way up to like size like 19, which I was very surprised at. I couldn't find a size 13 in like anything, but they had a bunch of size 17s, a bunch of size 19s. So if you are a thick girl, you might want to check that out. But I don't know if they got high waisted enough for, to be real. After Hollister, I went over to Zara I'm pretty sure yeah I went over to Zara so for the jeans I saw up to a size 14 which I was very surprised at I didn't even really really think that I would find a size 12 in a lot of things Zara to me 
I just don't really shop there that often because I, I feel like nothing's gonna fit me. That's probably not true. And I have a few things that have fit me very well from Zara. I just don't think of that store like very often for myself. I don't know. I don't feel like they cater to curvy people and they have cute stuff, but I don't know. I just never think of Zara for myself. Anyway, so I went in there and I found a pair of jeans in a size 12. I went and tried them on. They were, they felt stretchier than they actually were when I put them on. They were just okay. They weren't high-waisted enough. I feel like you could get a way better deal. Like for $50, I feel like you could get a way better jean. Like for real, for real, you totally could. Um, so yeah, I just wasn't impressed. They weren't bad, but they weren't great. I just wasn't impressed. Like I wouldn't go to Zara for jeans unless they were like cool trendy jeans that like had like a paper bag weight. Like I wouldn't go there to Zara for like basic high-waisted jegging kind of jeans. I would go there for like trendier cool jeans, you know? But like those, I don't even know if they make my size because it seems like the trendier you go at Zara, the less sizes they make, which is fucked up and I hate it. Anyway, so Zara, eh, whatever. So after Zara, I went to Nordstrom. So I originally went to Nordstrom just to try on Good American, but when I got to the jean section at Nordstrom, I also saw a gold. And I know a lot of people rave about a gold jean. So I was like, let me try them on. Like they're here, they're, I'm definitely interested, especially because they are another expensive jeans brand. Like, let me just try them on and see if they're worth the hype. So I went into the fitting room. First, I tried on Good American and I, I'm gonna tell you guys, I, I walked into Nordstrom with like the assumption in my mind that I was going to fall in love with good American jeans and like splurge and get them for myself because I couldn't live without them. Like that's the, that's the idea I had in my mind. I was like, today you might, you might fuck up a band and like just drop some cash on some good American jeans because you not, might not be able to live without them. So I went in the dressing room, tried them on. They weren't horrible. I just literally was not impressed at all. Like they took a lit, like it took a little, I was jumping in the dressing room at least three times. Like took a little bit to get them up. Not that they were, they were a little bit too tight. Like they just were not as stretchy as they felt like they were going to be or looked like they were going to be. And then like pulling up the zipper even, like I had to go like three times to pull up the zipper and they ended up fitting. Like I even could like pull them away from my waist and there was like a little bit of room, but like for some reason they just like wouldn't go up. But it was weird. Anyway, they weren't high waisted enough. They looked, they felt a lot softer than they like actually were. Felt a lot stretchier than they actually were. They did this weird thing at the ankle where like the front part of the ankle is like shorter than the back. So it like, just weird. I don't know. They weren't high waisted enough. Like I said, just overall, not really that impressed, especially for $175. Like I would go made well, save 40 bucks, go made well, 135, like way, way better, way more flattering, just overall amazing. And they didn't feel as good quality as they look. You know what I mean? Like they kind of have that same waistband as the curvy jeans from American Eagle. And those kind of feel like better quality weirdly. Maybe I got like the, I tried on the good, the good waist because they have the good leg and the good waist. I tried on the good waist ones and they weren't like, they look so much more high waisted than they actually are. They also like, they made my tummy look a little bit flatter, but they also kind of flattened my butt out a little, which I hate. I honestly, much rather like have the fupa in full effect than have my butt be flattened, you know? Honestly, a little bit disappointed. They weren't like horrible, but I would never spend that much money on that jean that I tried on today. Never, ever, ever. I wouldn't even spend, I, I just wouldn't ever buy them. I don't care what price they were. Those jeans just didn't flatter me enough to buy. You know what I mean? So then I tried on the eight gold jeans and kind of same thing. They were a lot softer and stretchier than the good American, but they also did not come up high waisted enough. And they also just were not as flattering as I thought they were like for though. And those are $188. They just did not cut it for that, that price. I would once again, go to Madewell, save yourself some money and still get a really nice quality jean that looks way better, way more flattering, feels like better quality. Like the eight gold jeans were thin. Like they, like those are not jeans that you can wear out in the cold without having like some tights under. Like they're thin, you know what I mean? I totally forgot to talk to you about H&M. I definitely did go to H&M. I can't remember in what order, but I'll put this clip in whatever order that is. But I went to H&M and H&M is similar to Forever 21 in that they have like a million different SKUs of a million different jeans and like you can never tell which is the same, which is different. Like they can even be on the same rack and you're like, oh, I found my size, but these are somehow different from the rest of this rack of clothing. Very annoying. But I found a pair of jeans in a size 31 
and they were only $20 and I was shocked at how much I liked them. Like they were the perfect level of high waist. They were so nice and soft and stretchy. Like you could definitely tell they were a $20 pair of jeans as opposed to like a $50 pair of jeans. Like they weren't like the most amazing quality, but honestly they were a great pair of jeans for 20 bucks. Like really, really nice, really good high waist, really flattering, really soft, really nice and stretchy. They hit me right, like they weren't too long because a lot of times I'll find like the most amazing pair of jeans that like fit me great everywhere else, but they're too long because I'm a midget. They fit, hit me right at the ankle. They were just awesome. And for 20 bucks, like you literally can't beat that. So I didn't buy them, but like if I ever just need like a good pair of jeans, like say I am traveling somewhere and I like, it's colder than I expected or something. And I just need to go like get a pair of jeans, to, like hold me over or something. I'm going to run to an H&M because one, those are like everywhere. You can find an H&M in any city that you're in. And two, 20 bucks, like those are good jeans for 20 bucks, you know? I had two stores left, Urban Outfitters and Forever 21. Urban Outfitters I was a little bit worried about because I've tried on their jeans before um, and they never fit me. I've never bought a pair of American or Urban Outfitter jeans because they've never fit me. But I was like, you know what? Maybe I just haven't tried on the right one. So I went to try on the BDG twig, like high rise twig jeans. Cause those are their like version of like a super skinny high rise kind of jegging type. And I was gonna try on a size 31 because their sizing is that way. Um, but they didn't have any blue wash jeans in a size 31 or 32. So I had to try on the black ones and I'm talking to the girl and she's like, yeah, they're, they basically all fit pretty similarly. The only difference is the amount of stretch. And I wanted to be like, well, bitch, that's literally every Everything. Like if they're not gonna stretch, then they're not gonna fit. Like, do you see all this ass? <laughs> But you know, she got me a size 31 and a size 32 of the black BDG twig jeans. I went in that fucking dressing room and that shit didn't even go past my mid thigh. The 31 didn't go past my mid thigh. And at that point I was so over the entire day and I was so done trying on jeans that I was like, I'm not even gonna try on the 32. It's not a size 12 anyway, so I don't care. So I tried on that size 31 halfway did not get it past my thighs. They did not stretch at all. They felt like, they didn't even feel like denim. They felt like cotton, like, I don't know. I just hated them. Urban Outfitters, like it, it boggles my mind that Urban Outfitters doesn't have plus size. Like even anthropology has plus size at this point. Like get your shit together, Urban. Like you're, it's just annoying like do you know how much more money you can make like urban outfitters is a cool store but that kind of shit just makes me want to like never shop there you know what i mean like you don't even go up to a size a true size 12 or 14 like that's annoying and then when you do you don't even have the, them in stock like anyway and then last but not least forever 21 and forever 21 i've obviously shopped there before but i don't go to forever 21 for jeans for the most part and i know they have this whole like new denim line like they have different cuts and different fits of denim and it's like the official forever 21 denim collection because for a long time i mean still you go to forever 21 and you're like oh my god i bought these amazing jeans from forever 21 and then you try to tell them tell your friend what they are and like try to say like oh go get these jeans from forever 21 and they're like which ones are they because there's 75,000 pairs and i can't figure out which exact pair you have because they all look the same they all got the same price like truly Forever 21 is too many skews of the same shit. But I went in and I noticed that they had the high-waisted skinny or the high-rise skinny jean and then they also had a curvy fit high-rise skinny jean. And so I looked up and down that whole store for a size 31 in these damn curvy fit jeans and I didn't find them anywhere. Like literally, if you ever wanna feel disappointed about your entire life, go to Forever 21 and try to find two different sizes of the same style of jean. Truly, to, like, I don't understand. It's like they make one of one of 70,000 different items. Like they don't make three different sizes of, it's just, I, I, don't, I can't find anything in there. It's a mess. It's always a mess. Even if they have like a whole denim section, it's like there's still jeans sporadically throughout the store. It doesn't make sense, dude. There's just too much shit. So anyway, I ended up grabbing a size 31 in the Fairfax high-waisted skinny and I tried them on and honestly, I liked them a lot more than I expected to do. Also because it was the last store, I had mall brain, which if you don't know what mall brain is, it's very similar to Ikea brain where like you just go into a meltdown mode because like the air in the mall or the air in Ikea just kind of like, melt your brain like you just you just become delirious and angry and hostile you know so at this point I definitely had mall brain and um I wanted to get the fuck out of there but I tried them on I was like oh honestly even though I'm so hostile and annoyed right now kind of like these especially for $25 like I didn't buy them then because I wanted to get the hell out of there 
but I would definitely go back and buy those those jeans because they they were more high waisted than I expected because I saw that the curvy fit was meant to be more high waisted. I expected these to be like a little bit too low for me not to like them, but they were actually really nice. They felt really great, great quality, especially for $25 and they fit me really nicely. So I would absolutely go back and get those. And I would hope that like next time I go, they have a size 31 in the curvy fit and I can find them because I feel like I would like those even more. So I was actually pleasantly surprised with Forever 21. Forever 21 is hit or miss. Some days you go there and you're like, I love everything about you. And some days you go and you're like, why does, why do you still exist? And you go bank bankrupt last week. like. Can you shut down, you know? But yeah, you guys, I am tired of talking about jeans. I'm tired of wearing jeans. I've been in another pair of jeans all day. I'm ready to put on some sweatpants and edit this video for you. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, to conclude this video, I would say if you want a good high, if you're ready to splurge on a good pair of jeans that you know will last you a really long time, I would go to Madewell because those jeans are definitely my favorite of the entire day. And I'm gonna see, I'm gonna scope them out for some Black Friday deals because if they drop under $100, I'm getting them. I'm for sure getting a pair because I love them. Like I've, I haven't felt that bomb in a pair of jeans in a very long time. So I loved those. If you want a little bit more of a bang for your buck, especially because this place has a lot of sales all the time. They even had like buy one, get one half off while I was there today. American Eagle, those jeans actually reminded me, the curvy fit reminded me a lot of the Madewell jeans. They obviously weren't as great quality because they were like literally a third of the price, but they felt really, really nice and I would absolutely get them. The only downfall to American Eagle jeans is the freaking stitching on the pocket. Like I hate that you like can tell where I got my jeans from just by looking at the pocket. Like I hate that kind of stuff. Same thing with Hollister, hate it. They are really nice fitting jeans. So I might, I might just, you know, suck it up and be like, you know what girl, I am an American Eagle jean wearer because they just look so damn good. I might just have to become an ambassador. But yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It took a lot out of me. Like I'm exhausted from walking around that mall, but I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe we could do 12 more stores. Maybe I'll drop down to a size 10 so I only have to do 10 more stores. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you head on out so you can get this kind of video, all my other kinds of videos, so you could just stick around and stay a while. We have fun here. Um, I love you all so, so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.